From shoes you only see in movies to a $4 million masterpiece, these are the most expensive shoes NBA players own. And John ja Morant shoes were so expensive, they made NBA players jealous. Once Ja went black, he was not coming back. These are his custom Ja ones, covered in diamonds, and had his teammate jealousy to nab them. Your shoes are bust down, bro. These are worth over $4,000, and yet, they're literally the cheapest shoes in this video. Anthony Davis's shoes weren't only eight times more expensive, they came from the future, literally. See, Anthony's favorite movie is Back to the Future, cause in the movie, Marty McFly wore shoes that became some of the most viral and expensive ever. <laughs> Our laces, all right. The first rechargeable pair of Nikes made with futuristic abilities to light up and even lace themselves. The Nike Air Mags, but Anthony didn't just want the exact ones that every other hype beast gets. He got them customized. I got custom the Air Max. Really? I got a pair of Air Max, customized and look just like the DeLorean in a movie. And I never wore them never took them out the box, kept them in the box. So. I have mine, but I actually hoop in them. First of all, you don't have no damn Air Mags, and you definitely ain't a hooper. Just look at you, bro. But anyways, Unibrow Boy's special edition red Air Mags are worth over $30,000. His shoes cost more than your life. But Steph Curry's shoes weren't only more expensive, they honored victims who were burned alive. Curry's heart was broken when he heard devastating news about his city. We begin tonight with that breaking news in Oakland, California, a warehouse party that turned into a deadly inferno. Witnesses say it went up like a tinderbox, burning in mere seconds. And after learning this was the deadliest fire in his city's history by killing 36 people, Curry had to represent those people in a very memorable way, so he hit up his boy to customize multiple shoes that would honor the victims and spread awareness of the tragedy. The first were some white, blue, and yellow Warriors-themed Under Armour shoes that said Oakland on one side, Strong on the other, and not only had Always Remember written on them, they had the initials of every victim. And Steph also designed a similar black pair with initials of the victims and also graffiti style text of Go Ship, the location that the fire went down. So, Steph had him on for warm ups, then rocked him during a game versus the Knicks where you could tell he was hurting when he only scored 8 points, but this game wasn't about the accolades, it was about the tragedy and also what the shoes were going to be used for after. After the dub, Steph signed the shoes, making them worth even more. Then not only announced that he was auctioning them off, the shoes ended up selling for over $45,000 and all the money was donated to the Oakland Fire Relief Fund. Man, you gotta respect Steph's shoes being made for a good cause. But Jimmy Butler spent even more on shoes that had Eminem shook. Holy those are really cool shoes, That's it. I'm just saying. It shouldn't be a surprise that Michael Jordan's own son is some of the rarest J's in the world. I mean, dude's got a closet full of them. One of his shoes, though, are more expensive than all those combined, and dude's tripping, because he actually wore them during a game where he went off. Butler at the elbow rises and connects with two, pulls up for three, and drops it home. Butler over Levine, it's good, and a foul. It's RG Diacono. And Butler scores, and a foul is Jones. Butler with two, lets it fly, no good! And the Bulls beat Butler! Even though Mans took the L, his J's stole the show. It's the first time I've seen somebody, to me, probably that rocked them that was that cool. Eminem was talking about Jordans that were made in his honor, that had black canvas, and his iconic backward Z with a hockey mask logo. Other than family and friends, Eminem announced that there were only 10 of these shoes being made available, so that means Jimmy's one of the only people on the planet to own the Eminem Carhartt Jordan 4s that cost $80,000. But all right, like at least there's a couple of those shoes available. LeBron James shoes weren't only one of one. They're over six digits, and he only got them because he set a legendary NBA record. LeBron stepped in on the verge of becoming the youngest player in NBA history to score 30,000 points, and well. When that guy's wearing E out, he'd be looking for double G pretty soon. <laughs> that, that was his 30,000 and 30,001. On that side. After hitting such a crazy milestone, a famous designer, the shoe surgeon, had to create a special gift for LeBron, and it's a pair that means more to him than anything. Covered in 24 karat gold, designed with crocodile skin, gold zippers, even diamonds set with the words world champions on the end of the laces. If these weren't expensive enough, he also made a matching pendant of LeBron's signature lion head logo also flooded in diamonds. Either way, we're talking about shoes, and LeBron's LeBron 15s are worth over 100,000. But 
Those are shoes nobody can ever get. Giannis Antetokounmpo doesn't only have shoes worth even more, he's willing to let you get them for free. Giannis was just showing off his shoe closet and letting us know stories about his favorites. But after showing off hundreds of shoes, Giannis whipped something out that had everybody stunned. Hold on, I gotta pause. This is the rarest shoe in the world. <laughs> There's probably 12 pairs of these in the world. For real? Yeah. Maybe 20 max. It's the friends and family only. What would you What would you price these at if you had Five to? figures, probably 50,000, 30,000. Oh, 30,000. Come on. Hold on, listen, Alex, you, listen. Hey, man, you're be. 50,000? These are 50,000. You said 50K? These are 50,000. 50 Gs? Yeah. These is, are 50 Gs? I promise you. 50 ah, 10 million subscribers. 10 million. Like this video. What does this say to YouTube? Uh, I mean, you heard Giannis, man. Drop a like on this video and subscribe. These shoes are crazy, man. Blue Louis Vuitton Air Force Ones, and nowadays you can't even buy them unless you spend around 126,000. But whether you get these shoes or not, at least they're from the same universe as you. Tyrese Halliburton's shoes weren't just more expensive, they came straight out the metaverse. His expensive shoes happened just because he got into an NFT battle with another NBA player, Josh Hart. When NFT hype was at an all time high, Josh copped not one, not two, not even three, but five NFTs. So it got other NBA players buying them themselves. And eventually Tyrese joined the fun by posting about his new purchase of a board A. And he was hyped about this purchase until Josh Strait called him out by posting how his ape was better. Now, Tyrese responded saying, uh, that's Cap. My ape will be with me on the court tonight. And I'm not gonna lie, man. I didn't know what the hell this dude was talking about until a shoe designer leaked Tyrese's bubblegum pink and blue custom Kobe shoes with the ape all over him. Now, if becoming the first player to wear an NFT during a game wasn't shocking enough, Tyrese pulled off one of his best highlights in that. Tyrese! 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 I just hope that play and NFT were worth it though, because ever since he bought those, Crypto prices completely crashed, so now them shoes are worth less than Skechers. Keep in mind that Tyrese hella dumbass really paid $140,000 for those, which obviously sounds expensive, but Michael Jordan's most expensive shoe is worth 15 times as much. Things kicked off during game two of the NBA Finals when Jordan stepped in and made history. On a sec on Michael, fade away, ties it in two. Outside to Harper, now Michael baseline. And he starts the same way he began game one, on fire. Michael, with the shot clock winding down against Hornacek. Michael's gonna do it, two defenders, a whistle, count the basket. His shoes literally gave him superpowers or something, because not only did he go off for 37 points and carry his team to a win, on Jordan's feet were his signature shoes at the time, the bread 13s, that were covered in leather, red suede, and some reflective material. Ironically though, these were the last time Jordan would ever wear these shoes. He just signed them, then gave them to a ball boy in the visiting locker room to do whatever with. But I doubt Jordan would have done that if he knew how valuable the shoes would become, because once they made their way into an auction, they set a world record. A pair of shoes from one of the NBA's greatest, and the guy synonymous with his shoes, uh, <laughs> might be the most valuable shoes in the world. Sotheby's says the Nike Air Jordan 13 sneaker sold for a record $2.2 million on auction. $2.2 million? God damn! I can't believe someone really paid that much for these pieces of shit, man. Personally, I'm going my $300 pure monies, but what do I know? I ain't no hooper. I just make YouTube videos all day. <laughs> Bro! But listen, the basketball go ain't actually the shoe go. There's still two more players' shoes we have to talk about. And first, Dwayne Wade doesn't only hold the record for the NBA's most expensive pair of shoes. They're so expensive, they need 24-7 armed security. And ironically, they happened right after Wade broke up with Jordan. Literally, Wade left Jordan brand to become the first NBA player to sign a shoe deal with Lee Ning. Who? Yeah, I didn't know either, which explains why the move made headlines about it being a terrible move for Wade's career. The brand saw this though, and desperately wanted to show everybody what they were made of, so they created the most expensive shoe in NBA history, the leaning way away for Fire Monkeys. Not only are they covered in 18 karat gold, sapphire, and diamonds, the blue color on the shoe as well as the crystal flower on top is for the Chinese year of the monkey, which represents new business ventures and ambition. So when the shoes went up for auction, Wade hired a full security team just to stand around cause they ended up selling for $4 million, but that's only one pair of shoes. PJ Tucker is a shoe god, so he's got the most expensive shoe collection on earth and it's worth way more than $4 million. Don't take his collection being crazy from me though. Listen to what NBA stars say. 
PJ got it going. Yeah, man. if I had to give it to anybody, it's for sure PJ. Is he competitive when it comes to sneakers? Yes. Nobody gonna beat him when it comes to shoes. He got this. You even seen him yet? <laughs> got my shoe before me. How you gonna deal with a guy that will switch his shoes every quarter? <laughs> <laughs> and they all praise PJ for a reason, cuz. Anytime he walks in a shoe store, he cashes out like crazy. Okay, so your total is $16,944.57. Thank you. And PJ's known to have some of the rarest shoes in the world. This one is maybe the most detailed comfortable of all time. This shoe is crazy. Well, we like to have a little fun. Cactus Jacks, friends and family. And this is one of my favorite ones here. OVO Kentucky 14. You just got the Colette ones. They're very rare, but they're underrated. And the details on those are crazy. So that, that's one of my favorite pairs okay. for sure. You're playing in the Sean Marion fives. Someone yells, where'd you get those? It was MJ. What was it like to have a shoe that he didn't even get? I just hear somebody calling my name. I knew who it was. As soon as I turned around and seen him, I couldn't even respond. This this can't be it. Is this it? Yeah, this is it, man. It's a couple of seniors that are uh, for. Thanks for coming. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh. But listen, that is not all he's got. There's a reason he's at our top spot. Dude's collection gets even crazier when you realize that he literally hoops in shoes that cost over tens of thousands by wearing the Yeezy Red Octobers. What he pulls up to games wearing is on a whole other level though. Like when he had cameras flashing at his own Nike Air Max that cost over 30,000. Or during the NBA Finals. Even though his team literally won a championship that night, PJ's teammate Giannis got more wet talking about the shoes he wore. This guy today, he wore a 250,000 pair of shoes. He had real diamonds. I promise you. And that freak was right. PJ walked in wearing off-white Jordan 1s covered in black leather, over 2,000 white diamonds set in a 14 karat white gold for the swooshes, and a diamond off-white tag that of course cost a quarter mil, but what turned PJ's shoe collection into millions of dollars? Well... Hey, a couple weeks ago, I see you at the Kith Fashion Show. Cheetah Yeezy samples. How? Three made, you said to me, you went tomorrow and getting the Grammy samples. Did that happen yet? That is in the process okay. happening right now. Okay. And that was another set that was like, man, like I gotta find them. All black, uh, right? The yeah, black, the black leather. Yeah, black leather. <sighs> crazy. You're Those on their way. Are, they're on the way. And PJ wasn't capping, because not long after, the Kanye Yeezy Grammy sample sold for $1.8 million to a mysterious buyer. Then he's the one who posted a couple pics of him rocking them. This man not only has the best shoe collection in the NBA, he's most likely got the best in the entire world. And if you don't believe me up to this point, well, what if I told you he bought his shoes, their own condo? Hey, what's up? It's PJ Tucker, and welcome to my sneaker loft. The loft is primarily for storage. There wasn't enough space in my house to be able to put all my shoes, so I thought, you know, I gotta get a house. Probably have 700 ish to 1,000, depending on days. We have a bunch of shoes that are doubles and triples of some of my favorites. Honestly, uh, it'd be kind of hard to wear them all. It's only so many days in a year. Just think about that, man. Dude's shoes literally have a better house than you. And the fact that they have their own crib. His entire collection is worth over 20 million million dollars. Dude's not just a shoe king, he's a shoe god. But what NBA players put on their feet is nothing compared to what they eat. One NBA player eats Venus pizza. Another player got his favorite food banned. Taco. I, I know you're hungry, bro. And to be honest, I'm hungry for you to click this video.